Canon have given us more details about the super exciting R3 camera. Now, they had already said a few things about the camera. It's going to be high performance. It'll sit between the R5 and the 1DX Mark III. And we know it'll have a Canon developed back illuminated sensor, an updated dual pixel CMOS AF, and a system we haven't seen for a really long time, a new eye control function, which should let you pick an autofocus point just by looking at it in the viewfinder, which to be honest, I am extremely excited to try out. So that's all stuff we already knew, but Canon have now released more details. We actually got to see the camera as well, hence why you're seeing this footage. So let's dive into these new details. So first up, 30 frames a second in RAW, that's continuous shooting, which is really great news. It means sports, wildlife, stuff like that is gonna be super great. A lot of photographers are gonna be very happy about that. It's also gonna have AF tracking of racing cars and racing motorbikes, so great news there for motorsport photographers. Now it'll also have eight stops of coordinated image stabilization so that'll be working with specific lenses and if it's anything like on the R5 it'll be absolutely incredible. That is one of the best image stabilization systems I've ever used so I'm very excited to check this one out. Now that'll also be great for video where we're going to be seeing 4k Canon Log 3, raw movie internal recording which is great news for videographers and makes this really seem like it's going to be a fantastic hybrid camera and to be completely honest it sounds like it's gonna be excelling at photography, but then also excelling with video. So no kind of trade-off, which you might sometimes see in a hybrid camera. Now we've got some new details about the actual construction of the camera and the connectivity as well. It's a magnesium alloy body, no big surprise there. And we're expecting it's probably gonna be pretty tough as well. It has a very angle monitor, which is surprising actually. I'm a huge fan of very angle monitors. I'm really happy to see it with this camera. I didn't expect to see it. And I think that'll probably be a popular move that Canon have made. Now it takes the LPE19 battery, although obviously no word on battery life yet. It also has three dial operation as well as a new accessory shoe to provide data communication and power. Now, speaking of communication, it'll have a wired LAN capability but also five gigahertz Wi-Fi, so it should be pretty speedy with data transfers. Now, this is shaping up to be one exciting camera, and hopefully we're gonna learn more info soon, and at some point, we'll get our hands on it to properly test it out. Now, until then, make sure to subscribe, give the video a like if you're feeling kind. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, thanks for watching.